But first tonight, the homicide of a father and philanthropist leaving his Northern Virginia community stunned. Yeah, Greg Glyer was found shot, death, shot to death in his own home. And three days later, it's still unclear who killed him or why he was targeted. Fox 5's Lindsay Watts is live in Fairfax with the latest from the family and police. What do we know, Lindsay? The city of Fairfax police put out a new statement tonight saying they don't believe there's any wider threat to the community. They are calling on anyone with information to come forward. We'll show you some video now of Gret Glier. He was 32 years old, the founder of a nonprofit called Donor Seed. This is him in a video for the organization. He and his wife have two young children, his youngest son about to turn six months old. Police say it was early Friday morning, just before 3 a.m., when Glyer's wife called 911. A next-door neighbor here on Bolton Village Court tells me he heard three gunshots. Here's what went out over police radio after Glyer's wife called for help. She heard a loud noise and believes her husband has been shot, saying that she thinks that someone came in the house just still getting more. Police tell me they found a rear door to the home that was open. I asked if there was any sign of forced entry, but I haven't gotten any answer on that yet. Police have not identified any suspects or persons of interest. Two different fundraising pages for the family have now raised over $150,000. I spoke to Glyer's wife, Heather, briefly by phone tonight. She's encouraging anybody who wants to help to donate to Donorcy, her husband's charitable organization. She tells me that was his heart and his vision. She said she couldn't comment on the police investigation. I also spoke to a neighbor who says people in that area are on edge, even though police told neighbors early on they don't believe there's any wider danger to that community. We're definitely um, just being a little bit more vigilant about um, just keeping our eyes and ears open. I don't think many people saw or heard anything that time of the morning, uh, but we definitely are you know, just taking precaution and doing um, what's necessary to feel more comfortable. He and other neighbors told me the Glider family had only moved into that neighborhood about six months ago. Police say this is the first homicide in the city of Fairfax in 14 years. Back to you.